My cat always wants to join me for everything that I do. She's coming back right now. Um, anyways, so I want to do a video showing you how to focus on the posterior pelvic tilt aspect of glute bridging and frog pumps so that you're properly engaging your glutes and not putting that stress on your back. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, so a lot of the times when we talk about post posterior pelvic tilt or we're doing um, glute bridges is you'll see people kind of do this. They actually keep this like space in their lower back, so to speak, right? Where their back is, is kind of arched. And then when they do their movement, you can see that, you know, there's still this arch in your back, right? So what we want to focus on is actually, oh man, get out of here, cat. <laughs> so what we want to focus on is actually tilting your pelvis this way, right? So um, anterior pelvic tilt is when our pelvis tilts back and we get that like arch in our back. And posterior pelvic tilt is when we tilt our pelvis forward. Um, so like that, that difference right there is from anterior pelvic tilt where my, my pelvis is tilted this way to posterior pelvic tilt, right? So, and the only difference now is that my range of motion is a little bit shorter, but I get better glute activation. So like that's the full range of motion now is this versus with anterior pelvic tilt, you can see how much I'm forcing up and arching in my back, right? So posterior pelvic tilt engaged, hip thrust, back down. Posterior pelvic tilt engaged, hip thrust, back down. That's what we're looking for with the, um, with the glute bridges and the frog pumps. So let me know if you have any questions with that. Um, and, and I'm happy to help you, okay?